Pugosa. Happy Saturday. I, am, I hope you're enjoying the beautiful weather we're having. Today, we're going to play with bubbles, particularly painting with bubbles, because it's a really fun way to make a unique piece of art that would be a perfect gift for someone you know. So in order to paint with bubbles, you obviously need a little bit of color. Now, you can make, do this in many, many ways. I just like to pour myself a little bit of bubble solution in some cups. You don't really need a lot of bubble solution to make it work. So just a little. Then add your food coloring to that solution. I have red and coloring today. And then you're probably going to need a straw. This is a nice paper straw that I have. I'm going to stick it in my red first and I'm just going to mix up the bubble solution there. So it's all one color. This first method involves blowing bubbles. Just like that. You want to make a nice foam on top. And it's kind of funny because usually I'm not allowed to do this, right? So you just blow your bubbles. And get your paper and press down. You can do that several times. Hmm. And then once they're on your paper, you might still have some bubbles clinging to it like I do. And sometimes it's fun to watch them pop or to pop them yourselves. color should I do next? Let's add some blue. Here, look at how foamy that is. Then you just See, there they are on my paper. I'm going to come closer even so you can see. Then you just now some green. If you get them way above the cup like this, it's also fun to scoop them and put them on your paper, if you can. That's why we cover the table, because sometimes accidents happen. All gone. Much better now. Okay. So, let's say you want
want some bigger bubble art, then you can always blow your own bubbles. So you can use the bubble wand that's included in your bubbles, or if you're like me and your bubbles don't have a bubble wand anymore, you can make your own. I just twisted together a pipe cleaner. Those are pretty good because the fuzzy helps them. You dip it in your bubble solution. Let it get big. And then you'll blow your bubble. Once you blow your bubble, it will appear on your paper and it will be bigger like this. Do you see this big spot? That's from blowing my bubble. You can also, if you're very careful, use a spoon or even your straw to scoop out some of the bubbles on your, onto your paper. They're probably gonna pop, so you may have to try more than once. Sometimes you have to make them again. Use your bubble wand. Get under those bubbles. Pop them right on. Whoa. I like to play with the bubble wand and see if I can poke something all the way through it for a while before it pops. There's all sorts of fun things you can do with bubbles. Let us know what you create. Goodbye, Fagosa. Happy Saturday.